Hello and welcome to our video solution to problem 4 from Super Quiz 1. We're back to solving differential equations. We really hope that this one is separable because it's the only type of differential equation we know how to solve. And this one isn't, right? We can multiply by 1 plus y squared to get that over here. No, that's not going to be good. Um, let's see. We can multiply the dt, but now that dt is going to get caught on this guy. So we're not going to really be able to divide by it because then you'd get to have to divide all these things. I mean, this is not going to work. But we have this technique from class. We said, what if we make a substitution? So I'm going to let you equal this right-hand side. And the reason I do is because this garbage on the left, the 1 over 1 plus y squared times dy dt, that's actually the derivative of, of 3 arctan of y. Well, okay, there's a constant 3 there that's not quite right, but what's a constant amongst friends, right? So... Let's give this a try. If I make u equal to this right-hand side, then the derivative of u is 3 over 1 plus y squared. But I have to use the chain rule because y itself is a function of t. So I have to multiply by the derivative of y with respect to t. Of course, the derivative of, of t is just going to be 1. And then I have a constant with 0 derivative. And this piece right here, is the left-hand side. Okay, again, there's a 3 here, but that's fine. I can write this as 3u plus 1. And now I do have a separable differential equation. I can multiply by dt, and I can divide by 3u plus 1, and I'll get du over 3u plus 1 is equal to dt. Okay, we anti-differentiate both sides. Again, remembering when you anti-differentiate both sides of an equation, we know that they are only you're only going to keep equality up to some constant, right? So for some constant c. Okay, let's see. This is almost 1 over u, which would have an antiderivative of natural log of u. So I'm just going to guess that it still works. Uh, oops, I'm just copying the same thing. Natural log, of course, we remember the absolute values. And this isn't quite going to work because when I take the derivative, hey, chain rule tells me I get an extra copy of 3, so I'll divide by 3 to compensate. Of course, on the right-hand side, an antiderivative of dt is just t plus this constant again for some c. Okay, so for some c. Okay, I'll multiply by 3. That'll just give me this logarithm. I'll have 3t plus, well, again, I can just call it c because I'm not specifying a particular one from line to line, right? Like, it's just for some c. Uh, I exponentiate, and I get 3u plus 1 equals e to the 3t plus c. And as usual, we use the exponential law to make this e to the 3 C, uh, 3t times e to the c. Again, c is a constant, e is a constant, so I'll just give this a name, call it a, for some a. Now a here is some positive constant, because it was defined by an exponential. But I have these absolute values, which I don't really want, and just as we saw in the previous video, I can drop those absolute values at the cost of allowing a to possibly be negative. All right, so now I can't say for some positive constant a, I can just say for some a. Okay, now I can solve for u pretty easily. I'll subtract 1 and then divide by 3. So u is going to equal negative 1 plus a e to the 3t, and all of this gets divided by 3, or negative a third plus, well, again, a over 3 is a constant, so for some a. Not necessarily the same a as in the previous line. Okay, but now what was u? Ooh, let's go back up. Uh, oh my goodness, u was all of this business. So u is 3 arctan of y plus t minus 5. So we get 3 arctan of y plus t minus 5 equals negative a third plus a e to the 3t, again, for some a. And I actually can try to solve here for arctan of y. Like I can, uh, let's see, subtract t and add 5, and then we'll divide by 3 when we're done with that. So arctan of y is going to be, okay, let's see. We subtract t, we add 5, 
Ooh, add 5 to minus a third. Let's see, that's 15 minus 1 is 14 thirds plus AE to the 3T, and then we're dividing everything by 3. So that's going to be negative a third T plus 14 over 9. And again, the A over 3 can get right absorbed into 1, so for some A. And I could keep going here by taking the tangent of both sides, uh, and that'll give me a Y value. So Y is going to equal the tangent of, uh, well, let's say, I guess we'll write it sort of in decreasing order of complexity, AE to the 3T minus a third T plus 14 over 9. Whoo, there we go. All right. The key stuff in here, though, okay, is the separating all right, after, well, of course, the substitution, right? We need that substitution there. Then we can separate, integrate. And everything after that, you notice once we get to uh, this step right, uh, let's see, from right here below, now this is just algebra. We're just symbol shuffling, all right? So really focus your attention on, on these first steps, the substitution and the separation.